Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. You will notice that I am not in my home office, I'm actually in the classroom, and that is because this video is going to be a little bit different. This video will kick off our growth mindset series in the classroom. Now I know I very briefly mentioned that we will be working on a growth mindset series in class, but I haven't really talked in too much detail about what exactly that was going to be, and so this video will be the start of explaining that. So for the month of August, what we did before we got into this is that we focused on making sure that we all understood that as individuals and the individuals, excuse me, in the classroom, we all have something to contribute, that we are all important. So we did a couple of activities where we share, shared with our classmates a couple of things that we thought made us important. And that was just to reiterate the idea that each of us has important perspectives, thoughts, viewpoints, personality traits that really do enhance our classroom. So we're gonna continue to focus that and keep that in the back of our mind as we go throughout this growth mindset series. Every month we will have a different theme and those themes will bring about different activities. So for the month of September, the theme is everybody can learn. And so we have two main objectives. The first objective is going to be to make sure that we know the difference between a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. And we will even spend a little bit of time figuring out if we naturally gear towards a growth mindset as individuals or do we have a fixed mindset? And if we have a fixed mindset, what are some strategies or what are some things that we can do to help us have more of a growth mindset going forward? The second objective is just to make sure that we all understand that everybody can learn, that we know everyone is capable of learning, but recognizing that in that everybody learns at a different rate and at a different pace. And that in the process of learning, making mistakes is a part of the learning process or not um, doing as well as you thought you would is actually a part of the learning process and that is okay. So those are gonna be our two objectives and that is our theme for the month and so all of the activities that we do will be focused on reinforcing those objectives and reinforcing that theme. The goal is that every Friday that we'll do some type of activity that is focused on growth mindset and then any other day of the week we may talk about it um, just to kind of keep our minds minds focused on it as we go throughout the school year. Now, at the very end of the month, or during the course of the month, I should say, every student will come up with two SMART goals. And I'll explain what a SMART goal is as we get to that point. But basically, everyone's gonna have an academic goal, and that will be the goal that I focus on in the classroom. And then everyone will have a non-academic goal. And it's my hope that the non-academic goal is what parents will focus on with their child at home. So, as a parent, this video is really made for you so that you feel involved in this process, and so that you can kind of have some conversations with your child at home to reinforce what we're talking about in learning in class. So there are a few things that you can do as a parent to support this process and to support this series that we're gonna have. So I'm gonna give you a couple of those things. The first thing that you can do is praise your child. Now, of course, I know that you're all already praising your child whenever you can, but just really make sure to focus on praising your child and make sure the praise that you're giving is very specific. Tell them exactly what it is that you saw them do that you really appreciate. And just make sure that your child knows that when you recognize that they are working hard, that you have no problem telling them exactly what it is that you appreciate about what they've done. The second thing that you can do is just recognize their efforts. So if you see your child going through, let's say their math homework, and they come across a problem that's difficult, but they are still working hard and really pushing themselves to figure it, figuring it out, and they don't just stop and say, I give up, I can't do that. Please recognize and praise the effort that they are putting forth and going through that because it is very important for kids to know that learning does not come easy and learning does not come with the com learning does not come without stumbling blocks along the way. And that it's okay if something is difficult. It doesn't mean that they're not smart, it just means that their brain is in the process of learning. Also, if your child is involved in any type of extracurricular activities that requires a lot of perseverance, effort, um, just make sure that you're recognizing that and being very specific in uh, the praise that you're giving them in that. And then lastly, when I give them the assignment of coming up with their SMART goals, please do sit down with your child and figure out what is that one academic goal that you guys wanna focus on for the school year because the goal will last for the entire school year. Really be specific about it. What 
what is it that you want to do be as specific as you can so that we can be as specific as we can in the classroom as I'm supporting your child and then also come up with a non-academic goal that you all have for your child um, and have those conversations about what would they like to get better at that's not related to school so what the plan is I will make a video a month where I share the theme and the objectives and some of the things that you guys can do at home whether you're a parent or you're a student but I'm really looking forward to this process this has been something that I've wanted to implement in my classroom for the longest time and I really hope that it yields the results that I'm hoping for and that by the end of the school year everyone in here has just the utmost confidence in themselves and their abilities and that they aren't afri afraid to not only try something new but to try something new and fail at it but then keep going so that is what we're going to be doing for the month of September I hope that we all by the end of the year have a very strong growth mindset and that we know that we are all capable of learning and accomplishing anything that we put our mind to um, until next time I hope you guys have a great day I hope that all is well and I will talk to you guys soon bye everybody